Papa J, telling police to see where they are living. The man of God's new prophet Jeremiah Omotu Fafane came across a lady praying at Mount Carmel in the mountains of Solution. At Christmas Land Deliverance Ministries, the arena of Solution and Power. As Eli asked Anna what troubled her in the Bible, the man of God asked the crying lady what troubled her. <laughs> Kidnap him for how many days? For five days. Five days now. Yeah, what God so now to bring out? With God, all things are possible. Let's listen to what the man of God told her. Now, whosoever that kidnap this young man, they must release him. Yeah. For the grace of God, yeah. Jeremiah is here in order to go and bring him. Uh, where, where, when, where, where, where did it happen? In front of his house. He was coming back from a show. Okay, in front of his house. Yes. He was co coming back, returning from his show. When he returned from his show, in front of his house, right at where? At Rumala, Portakot. Portakot or Rumala. So, whatever they've taken him to, or Portakot, whatever kidnappers have taken him, the God of Jeremiah is everywhere. He's going to send his angel to go and now bring him up. Whether you like it or not, Amen. I will climb the mountain. Wait for me. We will come back, return with glory of God. Whether they like it or not, God bless. The man of God's new prophet Jeremiah Omotufufi then climbed Mount Carmel in the mountains of Solution and prayed for the return of the young lady's brother. This is your son, MC Dave, wherever he is, Father Lord Jehovah, let the enemies, whosoever that holding him or kidnapped him and right in Portaco River State, let him come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether they like it or not, he must come out. No arm, nobody can kill him because they have reported the matter. His sister is here. To report the matter to Papa J. Yeah. Lord Jehovah, my Father, when I pray, you answer me. He shall not die. He shall not die. He must come and die right now on the mountain. On Mount Camel, I'm here praying for him. Let him come out. Let him come out. He will come out. The good news. Let the angels of God go and now touch him. Let them be released him. In Jesus Christ, they will pray. My God, you never feel me. I send the angels to whatever place he is. They have kidnapped him. They come out now. MC Dave, whatever you have, they will release you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Coming out, whether they like it or not, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. You go that side, you get it. You get to my brother. When I'm coming, I'm looking short. Okay.
and he also prayed for the young lady herself while coming down from Mount Carmel before joining the service. <laughs> October 2023, victim of the kidnap case, Mr. Day, a popular comedian from Port Harcourt, came back to testify to the God of our Father, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fafi. Praise God, my name is Sonny David M. Steve Wakwe. Um, actually, I was kidnapped on the 11th day of September. I actually went for an event. I was already at my house, like I was parked in front of my house, and immediately I was hearing. Arrest him, he's a criminal. Arrest him, he's a criminal. Knowing that that's how police people used to behave, I was like, oh, God, calm down, now what's the problem? You're not talking to a town. If there's any problem, stop shouting, arrest him, he's a criminal, let's go to the station. So when I knew it was not just police officers, it was when one of them came down and dished me a very hot slap. And it was like, wear your khaki, wear your khaki. Immediately, what if police won't carry my khaki to? I was hearing where your car keys, that one was saying, handcuff him. Immediately, they dragged me out of my car, handcuffed me, and they were like blindfolding me. I was blindfolded, they pushed me inside the back of my car. I was Uncle carrying you. Yes, I was carrying two people. They asked the two people to go. That was how they took me away. We now went to where they dropped me, inside the bush. I stayed there for 14 days. Rain, if rain fall. It's on me. His sun shines. It's on me. No shelter. At some point, I was not praying that God, please let rain stop falling in the night. Because I was just lying on bare floor. Humanly, I was gone. Humanly, I was gone. But it's just one thing I told God that it's a covenant I have with you that there is no way I will come to this place and die here. Because I, I was like, if these guys are kidnappers, in one way or the other, God will raise funds for them and they will leave me. But on the third day, I discovered these guys are not just kidnappers. Because when they consign kidnapper, come they find who carry juju. Because the kidnapper was not telling me, I think you carry juju, come here. Which kind of human being will you be? That your juju will leave you run. And when he said that, because I was blindfolded, and I remember that I was hearing somebody talking gun repeatedly. They were cocky. If somebody wants to shoot you, you will know. Even if you are blind, you will know. If somebody is trying to cut your knife, you will hear the sound of the knife if the thing passes your ear. I was hearing all of that. I was confused. I don't know. I just regained consciousness when he told me that child will carry come must fade for him. Which kind of man be with me? He dragged the banger I was wearing him. He almost got me naked where he was looking for charm. He did not say anything. He said, Here yeah, we will be. We will see something. So in one of those days, I would just stay like this and something would prompt me, start praying. So one of those days, I stand before God, I am not lying. I saw Papa, Papa came with helicopters. I was telling police to see where he is leaving. Papa J. Yes, he came with helicopters. Like where they dropped me was like an enclosure. Papa was like, I don't see him, see him here, release him. I'm gonna find where he is. That was it. Uh, honestly, how I was released. If you keep me from that in 100 years, I cannot explain. I don't know how I was released. I don't know how I was Somebody, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. It was when they released me, and I know that my sister, but the Papa sent for a family member of mine, and my sister came here, and Papa prayed, and Papa said, Papa prayed with my picture on the mountain, and Papa said that they will really torture me, but I will come out alive. And honestly, I will not lie to you, the greatest part of this testimony is not the fact that they took all my money and my car. The greatest testimony is that up until now, my ear, I'm still hearing from God from this year because they nearly damaged the ear. But the fact that I am alive, for me, is the greatest testimony and I'm here to return all the glory to God. <laughs> 
that God spoke the word to the servants and it happened just the way God said it. I just want to be done with the glory to God. Put your hands together for Jesus once again. Shout! Yeah! You, can, you, are, you can hear from him and also you heard from what the young man said. Papa, people were seeing me and from the way they were looking at me, they were seeing a ghost. I stopped over 15 kk, none of them accepted to carry me. Come again? I stopped over 15 kk, none of them accepted to carry me. Everybody I stopped would just look at me and they would go. Sometimes if they stop, I want to enter and they would say, no, you are stopped for, see you are stopped for, you come out. So they were looking, I don't know if they were seeing a mad person or they were seeing a dead person, I don't just know what. It was the guy I was passing, when he now saw me, he was not asking me, what is the problem? I told him I was kidnapped. And I said, do you know where you are? I said, honestly, I don't know. I've been trying to look around to see if I can know where I am, but I don't know. And I said, okay, I will help you. He now went to one corner, removed his clothes, and gave me the inner t-shirt he was wearing. White. That was how I wore it. Okay. You came out without shirts. But as a, as a result of how they were beating me, one of them dragged me. He now tore my clothes. I was wearing one clothes for 14 days. I did not take my shower. I did not brush. So it was by the grace of God because any day that they give me bread, that day is like Christmas, bread and pure water. The day that they gave me coke, I drank that coke for three days. You say what? The day that they gave me coke, this bottle of coke, I drank, I drank the coke for three days. Oh. I drank the coke for three days. Small smoke. Yes. They changed my hand, they changed my two legs, I hand off my hand and for that 14 days I could not see anything. It's just the glory of God that I did not go blind because at some point they were even telling me that even if we release you here, you become useless because you will go mad. They, they, they were saying the way I was talking, the things I was saying, it was incoherent. That I, was say, I was talking like a madman. I was just talking off point. And that's what one of the guys told me that. It's not sure that I will go mad if I give him. She told me it was it was not to that it was almost at the weekend and I was released on Sunday night. The second day, the second day that when he was released, I had the hands. I want to pray for somebody. Anything that the enemies have now tied down in your life, spiritually, physically. I pray. The same angels are now set you free. They give you now the means of who's in Jesus Christ. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I also pray for those who are being kidnapped. Your brother and sister have been kidnapped. Missing people, missing children, missing persons. I pray. Let the same God that serve here send the angels for confusion to that time and also send love. To them to show love to that brother and that sister. Amen. Let them release that baby, that sister, that brother in Jesus' name. Amen. May the name of our Lord God be praised. Indeed, the words of God never fail, neither does it lie. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and is safe. Proverbs 18, verse 10. Papa Jay, telling police to see where they leave you.